So we're in the lower half of WA, almost to the coast. There's a certain variety of gum tree that grows just in this region. And uh, I've just spotted two of them on the side of the road. They've got gorgeous flowers on them. They're pretty rare. And uh, I'll just show you this one first, if I can get a good shot of it. It's like a gum nut that turns into a flower. This one hasn't quite flowered yet, but uh, there it is. Probably a better look, a bit of sun on it. It's just your regular gum tree that, that sprouts that, uh, that white flower. I'll give you a look at, I'll give you a look at it. There's, there's several, but I'll give you a look at the next one. This is another different type of gum like there's, uh, I'll show it to you. Have a look at that. Starts off as that. You can see them over there. Look, the outer shell will fall off. And then you've got, you know, something as gorgeous as that. Well, that's mother nature at its best, pretty much right there. There's, um, you know, there's over 260 different species of gum trees found in Australia, all over Australia, but they're not all found, they're not, not all species are found across Australia. They're, they're uh, in certain regions, and this particular one is, um, there's a bee on this one. So as we found out at the market the other day back in uh, Esperance, there's so many different types of honey that you can buy, different flavored honey. And hence, this is the reason, it's because of the gum nuts and what you just see that, seen that bee doing. That bee will, will uh, get all the nectar out of that little flower, take it back to their den, their hive, wherever they are and make their honey. And this is where the, the bee people that uh, make our honey get all the different flavors. Margaret and I tasted, I think it was about 10 or 12 different types of honey uh, back at the market at Esperance a few days ago. And uh, yeah, the variety is amazing. When you taste one after the other after the other, we end up buying a few jars of it because you can't bring any honey from anywhere in the country into WA. It's got to be bought in WA. You can take WA honey out of WA into other states, but you can't bring it from any state into WA. They won't allow it. They take it off you at the border. So, uh, and they go through, they have a look at your car, your caravans, whatever. So there's lots of things you're not allowed to bring in, fruit and honey and lots of other things. But, you need to read the signs and make sure you get that right. Or otherwise they'll pull your car and caravan apart if you don't get it right. So uh, yeah, the flower and gums, there's others down the road I'm gonna show you. I was, I've turned around to, to point this out because they're very, very rare, that these particular type of flowers. Hopefully I'll get one of these white gums that, uh, that I just showed you down the road that's really, really opened up because they're, they're bigger than them red balls again, the pink balls. So. It's a little bit like the Koori language, like, you know, all, all knowledge is fascinating, I believe, but the Koori language, there's, there's like over 250 different types of Koori language spoken here in, in Australia, used to be, and now with, you know, the, the way the world used to work and, you know, the tribes and uh, the different communities and how remote they were, how they lived was bizarre, and some of them are still doing it, but now they're down to about 17 or 18 different types of Koori Aboriginal languages. They've all gone, they're gone. You know, it's gone from 250 no, uh, different languages known to man, they're all gone. There's, uh, like I say, white man's pretty much taken over everything, but we have still got the Koori people to thank for their knowledge and their expertise of what they've given the white man. It's second to none. Their knowledge, their elders, you know, our ancestors and uh, the way the real world works is just fascinating. So 
you know, nature blows my mind. You can see we're just a mile from anywhere. So we've got, this is how bizarre it is. There's that many gum trees around and I've, I've pulled up next to this mine over here and I've found all three trees in one little area. They are few and far between. And you can see this yellow one here. See the nuts on this yellow gum tree? In a few minutes, I'll be down the road and I'll show you them yellow gums in full bloom. They are gorgeous. You won't believe how beautiful they are, just like those red and white ones. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, everything evolves and everything changes. Like the Koori languages that are gone, there's, uh, you know, 200 and, over 230 different types of Koori language. They've just disappeared, they're gone, they're finished. Um, like I said, there's under 20 Koori languages left in existence. That's, that's all Aussies and Kuris. that's all we know. Is, just under under 20 so it's just knowledge it is what it is like the you know 260 different types of gum trees across the country it's when you find the special ones i like to pull up and have a look at them examine them and you know i've just seen the bee and then i identified you know what happened at the market with the honey and the flavors and just knowledge on top of knowledge that's all it is i'm going to go down the road and show you this uh yellow flowering gum tree you'll like it